Hi, I want to talk to you about how to find leads. The best way to find leads is to go through your friends and family first, build referrals through that, build second appointments so that they can introduce you to new people and expand your business through the people that you already know, the people you're close to through work, church, the gym, kids activities, school, um, old friends from high school, college, and immediate family and neighbors. All right, that's where you start. We call those your hot leads. Those people can help you build your business through the referrals and also booking their own beauty experiences so that they will connect you to new people. But there may come a point in your business where you're doing that, but you really just need more leads. You wanna see more faces or you feel like you've kind of come through a lot of those people and you're ready to expand. Um, there are some consultants that really want to work in new pockets, new areas, um, or just work outside of their connections through work and family and friends. So there's lots of ways in our Mary Kay business that we can meet new people. And I love that about our business. It's so different from other companies, um, other direct selling companies that are out there where you really can't just get out there and meet people as easily. So I wanna give you a couple of my favorite ways and then um, you can watch some other videos below and see some of the helpful tools. This is just gonna be like a quick overview, okay? So um, one way that you can get out and meet people is through probably the most expensive way and that's through vendor events. So um, I want to caution you on that because some of them can be pretty costly. There are festivals and fairs in your community and sometimes they want you to pay um, $100 or $200 for a table. So you really have to be careful with how much of those you do and how you do them. You wanna choose them wisely. Um, some of those events are gonna be great because they're attended by thousands of people and you can have the table for an entire day or maybe even an entire weekend and lots of consultants will share the table with you and you'll split the cost. Ideally, it would be an expense of maybe only $25 to $35 for your um, time period that they're, you're there. And usually the consultants would split the uh, cost of the table and also the time. So if it's like an eight hour um, time that you have this vendor table, then you could split it up into different portions and each pay just a fraction of that full cost. Um, when you're doing a vendor event like that, usually it is um, something you may need a tent for, you might need the table. So there's a little more work involved, but usually you come away with a lot of leads at that one time and a lot of people that you can follow up with. When you're doing those events, what I usually do is a very simple table display and I have um, some clipboards with entries and so we give out samples usually we give out little lip glosses or eyeshadows and you may have something fun on the table just for them to look at just something pretty but very simple we don't sell from our table uh, we don't sell products but you could have catalogs out just something to uh, start a conversation and then um, you can let people know as you're talking to them and giving them their sample that you are doing a drawing to give away some free Mary Kay sessions. You're going to do um, what we call a pampering session or you could call it a beauty experience and they get to feel, you know, super pampered and gorgeous and they also get a gift card to go with it. So you can let them know that um, that's what we're doing and you can just ask them simply, what's your name? We'll get you entered and you write down their name and then say, what's a good number to text you? And you write down their number. So that's basically how we do it. We take the card and we, we fold it, we put it into a bag. I like to use the Miracle Set bags because they're easy to transport and pretty to put some uh, of the entries in. And later we go back and we call all the winners and we just tell them that they won and there's a script that you can use for that. So. That's one way that you can get out in the community and meet new people and get lots of new leads from, you know, just that work that you put in the two, three hours that you did. Okay. You can do something very similar to that in other places where it would probably be free. And those types of places would be working at a daycare center um, for a holiday season, um, a gym. Um, they sometimes have special promotions or maybe you can come in at any time. And basically you would approach the manager um, 
Sometimes we do this at clothing stores and restaurants as well. So those would be examples of places you could go for free and say, I'm looking to partner with some businesses or your daycare center or your gym to do some customer appreciation. And um, have you ever done that before for any of your special events? And you know, you kind of feel, feel them out, see if they're interested in partnering with you. And you basically explain that you'll just greet everyone as they come in the door. You have a goodie bag to give them with some samples in it. And you're also going to do some giveaways. Now, if you're going to do this at a clothing store or a restaurant, you could offer to give away gift cards from their store. So you might do like one grand prize winner of the day who gets a 25 gift card. $25 gift card from the store or the restaurant. So then you're buying something from the store and they really like that because you're showing that you want to support them. And then the rest of the people that win all the other entries, they would get be what we call like the runner up prizes and they would get the pampering session too with a Mary Kay gift card. So those are some great things to do. You basically just um, go for a few hours and greet people, give away some something fun like a little sample or some candy and you meet new people, lots of new people. And it's good to do those with a friend because then you're there together and when it's a little slow you can talk and pass the time, get to know each other better and you're just this smiling, you know, bubbly Mary Kay um, couple at the door when people come in. So those are some fun things to do. They don't have to be done in a group, but they can be. Um, the other thing that you can do that's free to meet people is something called Honoring Working Women. And this is where you basically go out into the community, um, mostly where women are working, office complexes, doctor's offices, um, even shopping centers where there's, you know, just a bunch of different stores and businesses, even like a rec center, anywhere where people are working. And you can go in and give them either um, a sample or we do have something called a wooden rose. I don't have one in front of me here, but it's a rose that doesn't die. It's made of wood, but they're very colorful and pretty. And so you go into the business with the rose and you say that you are honoring working women today and you wanted to give them a rose and a sample and that you're also doing a drawing for um, some free products and some free pampering. So we would love to get all the hardworking ladies entered. And then you just say, what's your name? And you write it down using your same clipboard. Okay. Um, Sometimes people call that like an office of the week or below there's a video called the satin hands raffle. There's different variations on how you can do this, um, but it's just going out into the community and meeting women in their workplace. Now with those kinds of things, you want to be quick. You don't want to interrupt their work day. You don't want to butt in front of someone who's a customer. Um, you know, you don't want to make them feel like you are an interruption in a, a rude interruption. Um, but it can be a really great way to meet some great people and that also is fun to do with a partner. So then we have some things called facial boxes. I don't know if you've heard about these, but there is a video on my website below about it. This is an example of what a facial box looks like. Um, you can buy these at like Hobby Lobby and basically people would enter to win the pampering session. They put their own name and number in it and you're just leaving them there at the nail salon or you know any place where women are waiting. Um, sometimes people put it into a tanning salon, um, a beauty parlor, a massage place, um, you know, wherever you think there are ladies that are going to be sitting and noticing it and maybe wanting to put their name in. I've even heard of people doing it where people get their uh, oil changed or like karate places, swimming lesson places, rec centers inside the locker room at a gym. And sometimes people will even put it in a restaurant, but they'll just ask if they can put it in the restaurant for that evening. So they would drop it off at, you know, like three o'clock and then come back the next day and get it. So it's just for that nighttime crowd and they would put it in the, the ladies room. Um, this is another example of you can have um, a facial box made out of glass, but probably plastic is better because um, people don't always want to have this on their counter where a child could come around and knock it off and break it. Um, when you do it though, especially if it's a clear plastic one, you do want to put some entries in there so that it looks like lots of people 
people have put their name and number in. And these entries are all below on my website, so you can just print them out, you attach them somehow with some ribbon, and you put a little um, sign on the front. There's some other sign examples on my website too. This one that says enter to win. There's some that have pictures of people with their, uh, you know, facial, getting a facial. So um, those are some of the ways that you can go out and get some new leads. Of course, there's always the old fashioned warm chat, which is just talking to people that you meet when you're out and about. And some people like that more than others. Sometimes it can be intimidating to talk to strangers, but sometimes all you need is a little sample and maybe your business card or, you know, a piece of candy stuck into a goodie bag or just the sample by itself. And when you're checking out from a store and someone was very nice to you, or if you're at a restaurant and your waitress took good care of you, or if you're at the bank and the bank teller was friendly, you can just pass her a little sample and say, I wanted to give this to you today. I'm a Mary Kay consultant and I just wanted to thank you for just being so kind. I love your lipstick. Do you, um, have you ever tried Mary Kay before? And you know, just slip her the little sample and they feel very complimented that you were stopping your busy errands and what you're doing to focus on them and to give them something that they can use. This is a fun little gift. And I usually explain to them that they peel off the back and there's an applicator inside to paint their lips and they love it. Sometimes you can even give them a choice and say, which one do you think you would rather have? Would you go for the neutral one or the darker one? And that just starts a conversation and warms them up. That's why it's called warm chatter because you're taking someone who you don't know and you're just starting to talk to them about what you do. And from there you say, well, I would love to give you one of my Mary Kay facials. Have you ever had one before? Or you could say, I would love to have you come as my guest to one of our makeover workshops. Have you ever done that before? And so it brings up that question of, you know, are you familiar with Mary Kay? Do you have a Mary Kay consultant? And then we can, you know, go forward in getting her name and number. You always want to text them right there on the spot. Say, give me your number. I'll give you some of the details about it. And then you put her number in the phone and then ask her her name. Hi Beth, this is Bridget. And I text that in and I'll send it to her. And you know, she gives me her number and then I'll say, did you get it? Just to make sure that she gave me the right number and that I heard her correctly. So um, warm chat, it's the thing that Mary Kay people have been doing for ages. Um, I honestly feel it's good to do a little bit of everything so that you have a nice flow of leads coming in. Of course, like I said in the beginning, you've got your referrals coming in from your appointments. You've got new bookings coming in from the people you've seen. And then um, on top of that, you could do an event. You could do some facial boxes. You could warm chat. You could work with a daycare center, a gym, a restaurant, a clothing store. Um, you could do a festival, you could honor some working women, um, and don't forget, you can get some Facebook referrals. That's the last one I wanted to mention to you, is through social media. This is really growing, and this is called attraction marketing. This is where you aren't maybe doing as much promoting um, and pursuing, but you are putting yourself out there with information about products and your Mary Kay business, and people are gonna be attracted to it. So there's a lot that you can do with that. I would say just start first to get your following, get friends, get followers on Instagram and friends on Facebook so that there's people seeing what you do. And then you wanna post fun things about your life, about your kids, about your job, about your hobbies, and you wanna post a little bit about your Mary Kay because people are gonna be seeing your life and they see your Mary Kay. So you might post a picture of you with some of your Mary Kay girlfriends. You might post a picture of something you did at an appointment, a selfie that you took, or a fun group of women that you did a party with, or an event that you did with Mary Kay, or even just a selfie of you wearing one of your favorite products, or a new product, or a color that you really like. And take a picture of yourself in the car, or outside when you're taking a walk, or with your kids. And people are gonna start to see how beautiful these products look on you and how you beautifully intertwine it with your business and your family. 
And then that's what we call lubricating the booking process. Because if people are seeing you and loving what you're doing and your content is positive and fun and, and pretty, then when you reach out to those people that are following you, your Facebook friends, and you send them a personal private message and you say, hey, could I borrow your face for one of my, um, as a face model for my portfolio? They're gonna say yes, or they're gonna be interested because they've been watching you and they know what you're doing, okay? So use social media as a tool. You do have to kind of do that um, background work just to build up your following and to build up your posts that are gonna be interesting to people. And then when you reach out to people, it's gonna be easier because of the work you've done in on the back end. Okay, so there's so much more that we could talk about with finding leads, but I just wanted to give you that overview today. You can read more of the um, links and see um, some more details on them, but I encourage you to pick something. You know, it's all about taking action and picking something that you feel comfortable trying and then see it through. See it through all the way and connect with me so I can help you do it in the most effective way possible. So I hope that helps you get an idea about different ways that you can find leads.